Hey, my name's Jeff Blue. I'm the A&R executive who signed and developed Lincoln Park. I want to welcome you to the first of about 10 YouTube videos discussing the beginnings of a band that touched the lives of millions and millions of people in such a positive way. Um, I've had about 15 years and thousands and thousands of emails asking me about the beginnings of Lincoln Park and how it all happened. Um, and I really want to give a special shout out to Gabriel, um, who runs a fan base for Lincoln Park in Brazil. Um, he's been on me for about a year asking me questions and I finally gave in, so here you go. Uh, I'm going to answer a series of questions uh, sent to my email address at jeff at jeffbluemusic.com and my website is jeffbluemusic.com. Um, I am so proud of Lincoln Park and the men they've become and the, the band they've become and, and how much they've done uh, to establish you know, our culture. Um, so here we go. I have uh, my first email uh, from Juan in Puerto Rico and it says, I heard you met Brad, the guitarist at UCLA. How did it all start? And he adds dot, 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 would it help if I went to UCLA? <laughs> so first of all, it could probably help if you go to UCLA, but um, I was a teacher at UCLA. I graduated from UCLA uh, several years before um, in the communications department. And I was lecturing for a professor uh, named Marty Gregory uh, in the comm department. And I had just signed a band called Korn, and they were doing well, they were doing pretty decent. Uh, and I had also signed a band called Limp Biscuit, and they were just beginning to break. Um, I had a huge poster in my office, uh, which I was really, really proud of. And I was also developing a young woman named Macy Gray. And I had signed a development deal with her um, to the publishing company that I worked for called Zomba Publishing. Um, she had a really quirky voice, and I had played some of her music. In, uh, in the class for about 200 people at UCLA. And I told everybody I was looking for an intern to help me build her career and help me shop her as an artist. Um, and at the end of the class, of uh, it was about an hour and a half long lecture, this kid comes up to me and he introduces himself. Hey, my name's Brad, he has big curly hair, and you know, I said, nice to meet you. And he had this like, line of other kids and Brad really made an impression. And he's like, hey, can I come meet with you? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Um, the next morning I walk into my office and uh, my assistant goes, hey, there's some kid in your office um, waiting to speak to you. And I'm like, I didn't have any appointments. So I walk into my office and there's a kid, big hair, curly hair, with camouflage shorts sitting in my seat, spinning around in my, uh, at my desk. And I'm like, um, excuse me, can I help you? And he's like, yeah, uh, you said to come by you know, and see you. And I'm like, um, oh yeah, you're the kid from UCLA. I'm like, get out of my seat and get, get into, you know, that nice plush, you know, uh, nice plush sofa over there. So he moves over and I go, okay, first of all, don't ever sit in my seat again. That's <laughs> this is the dynamic. But I go, tell me about yourself. You're obviously very confident. And he went on to tell me, you know, uh, about his, you know, dream he was going to potentially become a lawyer like I had been. And uh, he said he had a band that he was developing and, you know, he was working on. That was his goal. And he pointed to this big poster of mine of Limp Biscuit, and he goes, that band's not that great. He goes, I'm gonna have a band that's better than that. So instead of kicking this guy out of my office for insulting me and sitting in my chair, I was like, I like you, I like your drive, I like your confidence, um, I wanna hire you as my intern. So that's how it all started. Uh, in the next several videos, I'm gonna go into way, way more depth, but I just wanted to welcome you all again, and uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions about Lincoln Park or your own band or breaking in the music business, please hit me at jeff at jeffbluemusic.com. Thanks a lot.